Purple Rosa here and I'm continuing on with the main quest in the Reach and I have to now meet Fenorian at Bethazel here so let's go in see what else we can learn about the Keystone so ah so he's all the way over there <laughs> So yeah, Rana Elsaran was after some knowledge from the Night Hollow clan about the Void and the Dark Heart, which we got the book to take to Miranda. And with Lyris at the place Sunder Tamriel, which Madame Marco offered to Mullen Ball. We saw a shard from Cold Harbor, which Rana took a piece of, and we did as well. And yeah, Rana wants to break his hold. Well, the hold that Malak Ball has over him. He wants to be free. And yeah, this dark storm, I think, is a part of how he becomes free of Mullen Ball. Because as Veranda said in that Oromancy echo we saw, even if a vampire comes back to life, they're still connected to Mullen Ball. Yeah, this dark storm has me worried. <laughs> Part of the prophecy that Arana told us. Darkness will sweep across the land. I made some interesting discoveries while I was waiting. Such as? Bitharzel is more intact than the few other dwarven ruins I visited. I spotted a chamber that appears related to the Keystones. But more intact doesn't mean completely intact. The path ahead is blocked. Well, I see some void portals. The path is blocked. How do we get to this chamber? Therein lies the problem. My vampiric abilities make traversal somewhat trivial, but you can't follow. I do believe I've come up with a solution, though. Potentially. Theoretically. What's your idea? I noted numerous void portals scattered around Bethazel. I understand you and Verandas encountered them before. I'm no expert on teleportation, but these should allow you to navigate the ruins and pick out a safe path. Yep, I've used the void portals before. I'll find my way to the chamber. May I suggest trying to reach the void portal at the top of that tower first? It seems like a good vantage point to survey the layout of this ruin. I'm sure you'll figure out a way past the blockage in no time. Any other advice on reaching the chamber? As Verandas explained it to me, the void portals sort of pull you toward their location. So finding a viable path across should just be a matter of trial and error. Assuming there's a void portal near our destination, you should have no problem. Then let's find a path to the chamber. Easy. <laughs> yeah, this part of the ruin I've briefly explored. So the void portals. I do like traveling via the void portals. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. I'll be waiting on the other side. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, hang on, what's up here? Nothing? Ah, there's one up there. Hang on. Oh, I see, I see. We go. Uh, now where? 
I have to get over that way. Hang on. Ah, down here maybe? Those more shades. Let me... Yeah, Travelling by the wind portals is fun. Just like the whole animation, how it happens. It's cool. Let me... Over there. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous that Fenorian can just use his vampiric abilities to get wherever he wants. So, this is not where I want to be. I have to go over there. And we made it. Sweet. There's Fedorian. I had every confidence you wouldn't get sucked into some boundless void. The repository is just through this door. Let us go. Let's see what we can find. Let's another Oromancy Echo. Hmm. This looks like some kind of manufacturing equipment. What would Rado want with this though? Look here. This resembles your keystone, doesn't it? The parts anyway. I wager this is what we came for. Perhaps. As I surmised, this chamber was where new keystones were crafted and stored. Nothing remains, however, except component pieces. Does Radha al Suran expect Verandas to assemble a keystone? Gather the pieces and we'll bring them to the orrery. Ah, oh, perhaps. Because we did get that cold harbor stone part. Maybe that helps break the hold that Malik Ball has on them? Good theory, Fenorian. Good theory. <laughs> What's this? More of Radha Al-Saran's Oromancy, I suspect. Yeah, hang on. So, yeah, Radha wants Verandas to make a keystone. Are those my notes? Hmm? Brandis, forgive me. As ever, your genius captivates me. I had no idea you made such progress. I'm still no closer to a viable solution. You're closer than you think. How can you know that? I discussed your findings with a new ally. They claim it will work. Only your trepidation holds us back. I... I thought you'd changed, that you sought penance. I won't participate in mass murder! Our dream is within reach, and you're still concerned for the mortals. Verandis! Ugh. Just... Rara! Verandis was aware of this plan, and he was its architect. Don't think badly of him. When he found out a lot of people had to die, he didn't want to do it. Whereas Rada doesn't care about the cost. I thought Zingalis, one of Rada al Saran's exarchs, came up with the plan to return the Grey Host to life. But it was Verandis? Why didn't he tell us? I thought Exarch Zingalis corrupted Verandis's research, but the memory tells a different tale. Yes. 
And it's a darker story than we were led to believe. Not only was Verandis a member of the Grey Host, and a close confidant of Radha al Saran, he was also the architect of their rebirth. I hope he's truly ready to face him when the time comes. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope his past feelings don't get in the way. What do you mean? When we confront Radha al Saran, it must be the last time. When the moment comes to end this, there can be no doubt, no hesitation. My father has to be prepared to see this through. That's a discussion for later. We should leave this place. Uh, whatever it's worth, Fenorian, I'm with you. I'm with you. We'll make Miranda see the right path. So I gotta go back to the orrery? Chamber? Let's do that now. So yeah, Rada El Saran wants Miranda's to make a keystone. So we've got a keystone fragment. The stone fragment piece from Cold Harbor. And... We've also got the book which might help us to actually make the keystone properly with the spells or whatever we need to do to put it together and it will what I think it'll help break the hold that Malak Ball has over the Great Host This is really interesting. Wonder what Verandas would say? I can't believe he'd come up with the plan. But it makes sense if Verandas wanted to be free of Malak Ball's well. But yeah, as I said when he realised the cost and murdering a lot of people, he didn't want to do it. Oh, that heart just looks ominous. The past is ancient history. Rodder's intentions were to sway me back to his side. That's not good enough, Count. Why didn't you tell us that this was all your fault? Father, it wasn't just your research that let him revive the Grey Host. The actual procedure was your creation. You don't understand. Please tell me you found out more about the Darkstorm. Don't let Verandas change the subject. I can't trust any plan the elf comes up with if he doesn't reveal the whole truth. Keep your temper in check. I trust my father, no matter what. Valyris doesn't trust easily, and Gwendis' faith has been shaken too many times. Please, convince Count Verandas to put his trust in us as well. Well, he trusts me, so... <laughs> I'm too mad to deal with this right now. Besides, you completed the entire journey. You tell Verandas what we discovered at each of those sites. Will do. The others see conspiracies where there are none. Just past sins that I thought long buried. They say you found everything that Rodo wanted me to discover. Tell me about the Sundered Land, the Night Hollow studies, and the secret of the Keystones. I found this strange stone at the site where the land was sundered from Temria. Remember the journey Radha sent me on. The one you took in my place. It was to follow in his footsteps. To see how he reached this moment in time. This stone, it, it's a shard of oblivion lost in our world. How would that help him save the Grey Host? To make a key stone. This is the Night Hollow Testament. It's not written in a language I can read. To see the void through Night Hollow eyes. Yes, it's written in the tongue of the first vampires. I can read it, but barely. In addition to other things, this is basically a spell book. It's full of rituals to appease and make use of the Dark Heart. Thought so. So we found this 
unassembled keystone in the Bethazel ruins. Was the point to show me the inner workings of the mysterious dwarven keystones? We know Rada used one to link the Dark Heart's power to not only the Orrery, but to the Grey Host as well. I can feel the pull of the heart just thinking about it. How does any of this help us stop the Dark Storm? What you discover doesn't tell us much about the Dark Storm, at least not yet, but the picture is beginning to form in my mind. Rodder's letter provided one more clue. He claims to have a laboratory inside this very structure. We just have to find it. Rodder El Saran has a laboratory? I thought he left that sort of thing to others. It's true that Rodder often relied on myself and later Zingalis to handle his research and experiments. But he wasn't without his own skills when it came to arcana and alchemy. I suppose, during his long isolation, he had to increase his aptitude. Perhaps. It's still... hard to wrap my head around that this plan has been in motion for centuries, because vampires live way, 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 way longer. <laughs> so, is it safe to leave the orrery unprotected while we search for the laboratory? Who would remain behind that could stand against Rodder? I fear that even together we would be hard pressed to stop him. We'll need every advantage for the end battle, should it come to that. Perhaps if I can learn how to call upon the darkness. Is that wise? How are you dealing with your connection to the dark heart? The darkness crashes against my mind like waves slamming into the shore. It can be distracting. I can function normally, with the occasional need to pause and let the sensation pass. I can't yet control the darkness, but I haven't been idle. So, what have you learned? Using my Auromancy, I turned the magic on the Orrery itself. I learned much about how the Orrery operates. It is quite fascinating. I also ascertained the approximate location of Rodder's laboratory, but a more thorough search is required. Cool. Let's go find it. <laughs> if Rod Al Saran's hidden a laboratory somewhere in the library of Arxand, I'll find it. I've had plenty of practice locating hidden laboratories. Have you? It's troubling to think Rada Al Saran may have been somewhere in this structure the entire time. Everything we've said and done in this chamber. He could have been privy to all of it. We should proceed cautiously. Perhaps. I mean, there is that balcony up there where I first saw Rada and Lady Belaine in this chamber. If Rada Al Saran's hiding around here somewhere, we need to find him. I just hope the bastard's home when we come knocking. Well. Come, Raven Watch, Titanborn. We can't let the specters of the past distract us from our mission. Very well, Count. As much as I want to kill Rada as well, he's too powerful. <laughs> we need to find a way to weaken him. So, go this way. It's not very hidden. I mean, we've had ample opportunity to look around this place and we haven't. <laughs> Remain by your side as we search. Cool. Where did the others go? Rudder has been working in secret for a very long time. His laboratory will no doubt be well concealed. Our search must be thorough. Oh, it will be. More night hollows. So, go up this way. Oh no, there's Lyris. I wish we had more to go on. I'm about to try my luck by swinging my axe into the walls. That won't help. <laughs> I think we're getting closer. A moment. I sense... Rodder has been this way. Hang on. 
I saw Gwendis. Oh, that's Venorian. He's checking a wall. <laughs> I haven't had any success as yet. Though my method so far has just been to systematically prod things. So I can't say that I'm too surprised. <laughs> oh, I love Venorian. What about Gwendis? I'll admit, tracking down our Arcasus' library was a lot simpler. I don't smell anything alchemical around here. Just a lot of metal and steam. Well, Dwarven Ruin. But yeah, that... Doorway looks like what we saw in the prologue quest with Gwendus. Rudder has been working in secret for a very long time. His laboratory will no doubt be well concealed. Our search must be thorough. Let's go. Void. Concealed wink. Careful! That Night Hollow Vampire radiates with the power of the Dark Heart! Oh, they won't for long. <laughs> Vengeance for Lady Belay! She deserved what she got! Ah! Witness what a taste of the dark heart can do. What is that? Shade Colossus. Well. Rodder's laboratory. I see he's adopted Zingalis' methods. What do you mean? Yes, this is it. I can feel the echoes of Rodder's work here. What's this? Oh, it's not exploding. <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because you found the laboratory first. Since you're so smart, talk to Verandas and figure out what we do next. I'd never get cocky. <laughs> I recognize some of Singalis's work from what we encountered in Western Skyrim. It's not something I'd like to dwell upon. The Count Verandas probably has better answers than I can provide. But Norian has been through a lot. He's fine. <laughs> the bastard isn't here. Damn. See what Verandas has to say so we can go back to hunting Rada Al Saran down. Well, I knew he wouldn't be here. Rada has taken my research in directions I never imagined. Dwemer machines, Night Hollow rites, Reach witchcraft, all arrayed around that pedestal. Can you make sense of it? Yes. I'm beginning to see how the pieces you retrieve fit together. He's building a bridge through the void. The Oblivion Shard serves as a lodestone to point to his destination, but Cold Harbor is precisely the place he would want to avoid. Why is that? Rodda has always sought to escape Molag Ball's hold on his soul. Cold Harbor is the place where Ball's power is absolute. It makes no sense, unless Cold Harbor isn't his destination. We gather the others. We need to recreate Rodda's ritual. Maybe he went into the void? <laughs> All right, what do we need to do? Fenorian will reproduce the Reach alchemy while Gwendis performs the Night Hollow rites. You must manage the Dwemer machines controlling the tonal, etheric, and kinetic energies. I will attempt to scry the stone and direct you accordingly. Okay, tell me more about what I need to do. These Dwemer devices, they are similar to pieces of the orrery itself. They manipulate various cosmic forces, tonal, 
etheric and kinetic, to chart the expanse of the void. You must keep these forces under control for my scrying to succeed. How do I do that? The components you retrieved from Bathar Zell showed me that the keystones consist of these same sorts of devices, just on a smaller scale. As I conduct the ritual, I'll indicate what parts of the process require your intervention. Be on your toes. What are we trying to achieve by doing this? Rudder pointed us to the means and method of recreating his work. There's something he wants for me to see here. And I believe the only way to truly understand what he's done is by repeating it ourselves. I only hope the risk is worth it. What risk? We are attempting to harness forces never intended to be combined to peer into the infinite, churning chaos we call the Void. I only suggest we try because it appears Rada has proven it can be done. Besides, we have no other choice. Oh, I hope this doesn't backfire on us. So... Now, to begin, start by adding etheric power. Uh, would it be this one? Yep. Now, quickly. I need more kinetic power. Kinetic? Now, some tonal energy. Tonal? The reach ritual. It's catalyzing too quickly. Quickly, help Fenorian! On it! We're losing kinetic energy. I need more! Kinetic! I need an influx of etheric power! I'm on it. <laughs> Wendis needs your help with the Night Hollow Rite. Just the tonal frequency, quickly! We almost have it, just a little more! How much? Uh oh. I'm losing control of it, reduce the kinetic energy! The Night Hollow Rite is surging, help Gwendis! <laughs> the tonal harmonics are in discord, change the output! We'll need the alchemical reaction soon. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Recalibrate the etheric power. It's too little. The kinetic mechanism is off balance. Set it right. We're close. Help Gwendis with the night hollow right once more. Glad he does magic. <laughs> Catalyze the reach alchemy now. Initiate a tonal cascade and hang on! Tonal? I can see it! I can see everything! What was that? You okay? As fascinating and exhilarating as that was, I'm worried about Count Verandas. Please, see if he's all right. <laughs> I feel ya, that was intense. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things, but never anything like that. See if the Count learned anything useful. And make sure he's all right. He's not looking too good. I will do. That took a lot out of Verandas. I hope we got what we needed. Talk to him and see how he's doing. Hopefully he's all right. Rada found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. It is both and neither outside the grasp of Ball, or any prince for that matter. He plans to gift the Grey Host with his sanctuary. Is that where me and Lyris went? Maybe. For what purpose? Don't you see? In their own realm, 
Free from Molag Bol's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. And with the connection to Mundus and the power of the Dark Heart, their conquests might never end. And now I see the purpose of the Dark Storm. That's not good. What do you mean? Uh, the Dark Heart. Rodus drawing on its power. I, uh, I can feel it tearing away. To the orrery. Hurry. I'll get to the orrery as fast as I can. To the orrery. Hurry. Let's go. Yeah, this would happen. Must stop, brother. So yeah, they want to become yeah. like gods. If they're free of Malik Ball, free to do whatever they wish, we have to stop them. Rudder, stop! Don't make me fight you! This is the chance you never thought possible! The door to our salvation stands open, Verandis. Come, finish what we started. All will be forgiven. Uh, Rudder, don't do this! The void energy is consuming you, Verandis. I can show you how to control it. Just follow me! No! What happened? Where'd the bastard go this time? He's gone, Lyris. To the one place where he can complete his plan. So because Miranda's is a drawing from the dark heart, it's consuming him instead. Uh. I can't tell if Rada al Saran is playing with Count Verandas' emotions, or he's totally serious with these offers. Please. See how my father fares. It's just keeps effing up. If Rada al Saran thinks I won't follow him to oblivion to end his miserable life, he's got another think coming. Well, I'll be ending him too. Ifri's barky backside. He was right there. Can we go after him? Verandas must know how to do that. Talk to him. I understand it all clearly now. Rada has opened the gateway to his sanctuary. In that distant realm, he can summon his dark storm using the power of the dark heart. He'll consume the reach to fulfill his promise. Yeah, take the souls of everyone so he can fill the prophecy. Consume the reach, that doesn't sound good. No, not good at all. The Dark Storm requires power on an unprecedented scale. Darkness that will cover the Reach and send every mortal soul it touches into the Dark Heart. In turn, the power of the Heart will flow through the Orrery to feed the Storm. But what will the Dark Storm do? It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Bol's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his Sanctuary Realm death will become as much a petty inconvenience to them as to any Daedra. They will become truly immortal. Yeah, and who knows what they'll try to do then. How do we stop it? To end the Dark Storm once it's begun, I need to enter Rada's sanctuary realm and take control of the ritual. I can't ask you to join me. But I won't dissuade you if your course is set. Just know that I can't guarantee we'll be able to return. How do we enter Rada El Saran's sanctuary realm? Rada showed us the door, and we forged the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the Dark Storm, for as you have seen from Rada's Oromancy, this monstrosity is my creation. Whether you decide to accompany me or not, Know that I value our friendship. I'm not letting you go alone. Rada has started the ritual in his sanctuary realm. I can feel the pull in the darkness. 
Soon the Dark Storm will consume the energy in the Dark Heart. Then more people of the Reach will die to feed the Heart and power this apocalyptic storm. How do we get to the Sanctuary Realm? Rudder aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the keystone on the dwarven mechanisms that control it. That should open a breach we can travel through. Then, maybe, I'll have a chance to stop this storm I created. You said the Dark Storm is your creation? I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. When my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths, I abandoned it. I should have also destroyed it. Roger corrupted it for his own ends. Try to open a breach into the void. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. This process should be less risky than what we attempted earlier. I believe. You believe? Roger has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Theoretically, we need only reactivate the orrery to open the gateway. Be on your guard, nevertheless. I'm always on my guard. Don't look at me. You were the one working all the contraptions before. If you're worried, I'm sure Verandas knows what to do. Well, I only did that at Verandas' behest, because otherwise I wouldn't know what to leave is to press. <laughs> Fire up that rotten contraption. I'll be right behind you. Of course you will. Well, the dark storm isn't going to stop itself. Let's see about getting this portal open, shall we? Yeah, so... He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. I mean, Miranda's may have done the research into this because he obviously wanted to be free of Mal and Ball. But yeah, the cost is too high. The cost is way too high. So yeah, now we have to go after Rudder. Continue this on the next one. Thanks for watching.